These are the 10 most banned books in prisons across America. Number 10 being The 4 Hour Chef by Tim Ferriss, which at first glance appears to be a cookbook, but contains a certain section that would help prisoners if they tried to escape. That section is called The Wilds, and it teaches readers survival skills like making a fire, hunting squirrels, gathering wild berries, and building a shelter. The Arizona Department of Corrections banned this book after they determined it would be too useful in teaching prisoners how to survive if they escape. Unlike The 4-Hour Chef, the next book on this list wasn't banned for its content, but the design of the physical book itself. A Charlie Brown Christmas seems like a bizarre choice for a prison to ban, but the book has many nooks and crannies behind its fat pop-up pages that can be used to smuggle counterfeit into the jail. The book was banned by the Texas Correctional Facility after prisoners realized they could hide illegal substances behind the pages. While A Charlie Brown Christmas is banned for what prisoners can get into the jail. Teach Yourself Visually Computers is banned because the Michigan Correctional Facility believes that the information in the book could teach prisoners how to tamper with the security systems. At first glance, this makes sense because you don't want the inmates knowing how to mess with the systems that keep the prison secure. But there's a few reasons why the banning of this specific book is actually completely unfair. The first reason being inmates can use the information they learned in the book to get a job once they leave prison. And jobs working with computers are typically higher paying than other jobs inmates can get once they serve their time. The second reason is that the systems are so secure and are never left unattended. There would need to be a prison riot for inmates to even access the rooms where the systems are located. While banning teacher self visually computers is unfair, there is some sort of logic to it. The reason why the next book on this list was banned is not only illogical but laughable. Lineage is a collection of four short stories that all involve the metaphorical and once physical escape from prison. The book is written from a Buddhist perspective and has been called the Prisoner's Survival Manual. The book never talks about how to actually escape from prison. Banning a book like this suggests that the prison facility wants inmates to be locked in a mental prison as well as a physical one. While the banning of lineage seems outright cruel, there is an argument to be made why the next book on this list should be banned. The book is called French Made Simple and at first it seems like a strange choice to ban a language book, but prisons actually have quite a good reason for doing so. Washington state prisons ban any book that is teaching or written in a foreign language. Their reason being they don't want prisoners to have a way to secretly communicate in a language that guards can't understand. Like French Made Simple, the next book on this list does have somewhat of a legitimate reason to be banned. As prisoners read it, it may teach them how to do behavior that is not allowed behind bars. The book is called 101 Best Family Card Games, and while there's nothing inherently wrong with card games, every game in the book can be used to gamble in some way, and gambling can frequently be the cause of fights and even worse in prison. So prior video, like I told you before, man, if you do have to go down and do some time in prison, if you want to do your time and stay out the way, you do not and get involved in gambling. Interestingly, prisoners are allowed one set of cards called cold case cards. The cards feature an image of a homicide victim and information regarding their case. The cards have helped law enforcement solve multiple cases, like the murder of James Foote, which remained unsolved for three years until a prisoner reported he remembered a man bragging about taking Foote's life. Next on this list is The Elements of Persuasion, a book that can teach others how to persuade positively or negatively. It's essentially a business manual on how to effectively persuade someone, but as of 2017, it's banned in Texas prisons as the prison facility feels prisoners could use it in the wrong way. Like Teach Yourself Visually Computers, the next book on this list offers up a moral dilemma to prisons. Should they ban it because it may help in escape, or allow prisoners to read it because it could help them get a job once they're freed? The book is essentially a vocational manual that teaches readers everything they need to know about becoming an electrician. The Michigan Correctional Facility banned this book because they feel as though prisoners could use the knowledge they learn in order to escape. To their credit, they do offer a vocational training course if prisoners want to become an electrician. Like Black & Decker Home Wiring, the banning of the next book on this list also poses a challenging moral dilemma, and in some ways banning it could make it harder for prisoners to defend themselves. The book is called So They Say You 
you've broken the law and it was written by an unknown author only going by the lioness. It's essentially a law circumvention handbook that shows the reader clever ways they can defend themselves if they're accused of breaking the law. In 2015, the Michigan Department of Corrections released a statement that explained why they banned the book. They said, the book includes content which advocates and promotes the violation of state and federal laws, including directions to avoid paying taxes and the laws which control the use of roads and highways. The final book on this list is the most infamous and most widely banned book from prison, The 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. The book essentially teaches you Machiavellian thinking, which is all rooted in power and people trying to take it from you. The book is extremely effective in teaching readers how to manipulate others for their own personal gain. But with all that being said, I have a question for you. Do you think any book should be banned from prison?